Hill this morning, just about six minutes past the top of the hour on this Monday morning. And joining me live on the phone, I welcome our town manager, Tom Lynch. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Very good, thank you. So we got some good news, uh, Tom, last uh, Friday in the form of some grants uh, that are coming to kind of help uh, deal with some erosion issues at Sandy Neck. Kind of want to take a, a step back and look at some of the background that led uh, to these grants. So what can you tell me about uh, what's going on at Sandy Neck? Well, first, we're, we're very pleased that the, um, uh, <clears throat> the administration uh, chose to fund, um, you know, two grants for us uh, through the Secretary of Energy and Environmental Affairs, the Coastal Zone Management uh, Coastal Resiliency Program. But the, uh, the first grant that uh, we put in for was for uh, the Sandy Neck erosion issues that we've, ha that we've been having really ever since uh, Superstorm Sandy. And uh, as you know, we have been appropriating money out of the Sandy Neck Reserve Fund to shore up uh, the shoreline where the sand has been pulled away and uh, most recently was really threatening uh, our asset there, the parking lot, which, uh, you know, brings a lot of revenue as well as a lot of joy to people who could, are able to get down and go to the beach. So um, we had put into the capital improvement plan uh, well over three hundred thousand dollars to try for you know a soft solution um, that at the time back in the spring uh, Nina Coleman our uh, Sandy Neck Park uh, executive over there was negotiating with the state and working with the state on uh, that solution along with John Juros uh, you know who works for the Department of Public Works and others on the staff so but they were finding that there wasn't um, they, they hadn't reached conclusion on that. And in the interim, we had had a meeting with the secretary. We had had some other conversations with uh, the administration. And uh, it became clear to uh, the Sandy Neck uh, folks that they were willing to look at a variety of solutions rather than just a soft solution, an example of which one can see now at uh, – uh, Blish Point, where we, they put in kind of a burlap bag, uh, uh, you know, barrier covered with sand and the staking and all of that to try to slow down uh, the erosion. Uh, they were still willing to talk about that, but they're also looking at other uh, solutions that might include what they call armoring, which is, um, you know, a more uh, uh, solution with rocks or maybe a more permanent solution. Um, there was, you know, they were also willing for the first time to talk about possible retreat of moving the um, the parking lot back somewhat. It would, uh, uh, you know, cause some difficulties with, you know, some taking some dune areas. But uh, that's always been off the table. But it seemed to be open to discussion. So there were, and then leave the the front parking lot you know, to nature and see what nature would do. So um, we had these options that were uh, suddenly environmental groups and uh, the administration itself and, and our own staff were looking at. And so it made sense uh, when uh, Nina Coleman came to us and said, that we, w we actually want to pull out the 300 plus thousand in the capital improvement plan, which made me a little nervous because I thought, you know, that's kind of the bird in the hand. You have that money. But rather than obligate that uh, to one option, we decided to go after these coastal, this coastal resiliency grant of about uh, $148,000 that would enable us to um, that would enable us to uh, you know have design of, of some of these other options. So we went through that process. Uh, John Juros and others were very good about you know putting that together. And um, that resulted in the uh, successful grant that we got on Friday. Wonderful. And uh, I know that that's just a one part of it, uh, Tom, and the other is a kind of a partnership, a partnership with the town of Sandwich. Um, so tell me a little bit about that. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, the coastline uh, does not really have, I mean, it has town boundaries, but it's all uh, pretty much the same, and we've all got that system working, working all together. So tell me a little bit about the partnership with Sandwich. Well, this, this might fall under the you, you never know what's going to happen when you go to an event um, category. Uh, I was at the uh, annual dinner of the uh, Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce down in, uh, at Ocean Edge in Brewster. And prior to the event, while people were mingling, um, you know, uh, Rich Delaney, who's the executive director of the Provincetown Coast Center for Coastal Studies, 
came over and said, uh, Tom, can I talk to you a little bit about, you know, a, a, a project we're thinking of where we'd like to be studying uh, the coastline. We'd like to be looking at the coastline from Sandwich all the way up through, uh, you know, across Sandy Neck to try to figure out what might be happening along there in terms of erosion. I know he said, uh, you know, we're, con- we're, of course, concerned about, you know, what's happening in front of the Sandy Neck beach parking lot in that area and then you know sandwich is concerned about what's happening down in the town neck area and along by by the uh, the canal they wanted to take a a look at the whole coastal network and find out if there uh, were th- you know steps that could be taken which might help either divert some of the the, the erosion handle storms in a little uh, uh, different way uh, and 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 therefore a response to um, uh, to them might be might be different. So uh, he mentioned that he had been working with uh, talked to Sandwich a little bit about it. They wanted it to be a collaborative effort between uh, the two towns. I uh, of course reached out to um, you know George Dunham, the uh, town manager down in, in in Sandwich. We talked about it and uh, we collaborated with the uh, with the the three staffs, the two towns and and the, and the center. Uh, growth management did yeoman work on putting together uh, the grant application and and some of the statistics and and uh, that were needed and then uh, we determined that it would be best to have sandwich be the lead sponsor uh, but we were not going to back off on any uh, you know commitment that we needed uh, to make in terms of in-kind contribution or staff time and our staff was very excited about doing that and I applaud growth management for their willingness to you know, work under this uh, situation. And again, we were equally pleased when we found out that uh, that grant had also been awarded. Wonderful. And and so um, the, these will, will will fund those studies. Uh, and, and do you anticipate as to how long uh, the, this process will take and, and when we might be able to see some, some more answers or at least get some more ideas as to, um, you know, what to do with the erosion issues? Well, certainly there's, you know, there's the, just the process you have to go through of of we got the big check, but now we have to sign the big contracts, and we'll move very quickly uh, on that. And this town council action need on uh, on that. Try to get that uh, before them for these uh, grant approvals, and then uh, uh, begin the staff work. But I think it's going to. You know, we we did put fifty thousand dollars into the um, operating budget of Sandy Neck because in the event that we did have another storm while we while we weren't implementing either a, a soft or other type of solution over there we knew we might might need to provide some of that sacrificial sand to keep it back again so we're anticipating that it'll it'll take us you know a year or so to to uh, you know get this information all in hand and then uh, be thinking about I would I would hope in the spring to be thinking about actually funding a, uh, a a permanent solution indeed and of course uh, you know great news to, to to that we do have these grants and that they will fund that but of course uh, the, the the lion's share of the work lies ahead well and and you know it's it's so good to have professional staff that you can rely on when i talked about uh you know nina coming to say gm thing would you i'd like to withdraw that capital improvement plan uh application we put in well there's a lot of work that goes into that so that's a very risky venture but we trust them because they're the ones that are on the front lines working with the state regulators all the time, working with the Sandy Neck Advisory Board to uh, get their advice and input. And, uh, you know, you, you really want to support staff when they feel that there's a direction that they can go in uh, that's going to give us a long-term benefit. Excellent. Well, Tom, I thank you so much, as always, for joining us here on Barnstable this morning. Thank you very much, Sarah. And uh, we will talk with you again very soon. Yep. Have a great day. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Tom Lynch, of course, is our town manager here in the town of Barnstable. Energy coordinator Richard Ulrich is next, but first, let's see if those fish are